We're going to start this puppy up. Clear, drop. Welcome back everyone. In this next section we're going to finish where we're going to continue where we left off and finish the installation of the engine mount and hang the engine onto the mount. Now because of all of the stresses and vibrations up at the engine I have removed all three tubes and that's why we never use permanent nuts so we can take them off quickly and what we want to do is reinforce the ends where the bolts go through so I'm taking a about a one inch one and a half inch long not critical piece of seven eighths tubing we have one inch tubing and seven eighths will fit very nice inside and basically I'm just going to insert this now we may need to tap it in because of the burrs from the holes and we want to knock it until it's even with the end that. and now simply take it up to our drill press and carefully drill through each hole now what that will do is um, strengthen this connection now actually I'm sorry before doing the drilling we want to place a 3 16 rivet anywhere in here and that will lock the inner piece and the outer piece together and then we can drill and that effectively reinforces the uh, connection here where the bolt goes through so it doesn't take long really makes a big difference in the strength and we basically have six of these to do. We got three tubes at the engine mount with two ends a piece. So six little pieces of seven eighths inch tubing to reinforce the end. And here's our completed end. Now we need two small support plates. This is after drilling and this is before drilling but basically a two by four inch piece of eighth inch aluminum same material we made the gussets from and this is what it'll look like after you prepare it basically we got three holes and a rounded corner now these dimensions can be taken from the Polini ring um, for the distance between the two mounting holes now to mark the third hole so we can drill into the angle iron we want to mount it with the rings with the two bolts this will get the plate positioned exactly correct then I'm going to clamp it on there nice and tight remove the bolts which will leave the plate on and then we can mark carefully that third hole and then drill it now we can mark our hole punch it and then drill it all the way through. Now we want this to be a uh, 3 16 hole for a small 3 16 bolt to hold the plate permanently to the angle. Here's the front nose and our angle is in place. So these plates we made will basically bolt on right here. Now this bolt is for a AN3 Put this through the front of the angle and then here and then a nut I'm going to use a temporary nut for now and then the other holes are for the ring mount and then we have the other plate that goes right here and now we can attach the ring now we need to make two of these angles here. This is three quarter inch by three quarter inch by one eighth. And I have two five sixteenths holes drilled 
139 millimeters apart. That number was derived from the Pelini ring mount. So basically we're going to take one of these, cut it off at six and a half inches, and drill it with two holes and round off the corners. These angles are going to reinforce between two of the mounting positions. So it would go something like this. Now I'm going to add two washers behind here because if we look at the thicknesses, we find out that we're, in my case, one sixteenth of an inch uh, short. So I'm going to add two AN washers, which will bring back that sixteenth of an inch and make this even with the mounting back here. Now, if we look at the mounting points, there's four of them for the engine. One, two, three, and four. The parts kind of look like this. There's a rubber with a bushing inside. And then a screw, cap screw, large washer on the outside. This goes like this. And then the rubber goes through the hole. And then on the two upper ones, another large washer. And the two mounts. Now down below, we have a longer piece. And that's almost similar without the large, without the large flat washer on this side. And that will go in here. And these threads thread directly into a rubber mount that is also on the engine. Now the mount is prepared with our four bumper mounts. And then the trick is just lifting it in place and trying to hook it up. Two people best do this. It's not heavy, it's just very, very clumsy. Here's a picture of the engine mount, completed, and the engine hung. And there's still some assembly left with the engine. We've got the radiator and a bunch of fuel system things to do. But at least the heavy lifting is, for the moment, out of the way. A lot of the fasteners are temporary, the nuts, and eventually it will have to be disassembled and put back together and tightened with the uh, proper hardware.